Hello and welcome to Dermacure Clinic. I'm Eleonora and today I would like to show you how to correctly perform facial extraction. Extraction of comedons, whiteheads and blackheads. I'll be showing you the correct procedure and also what, how hygienically that has to be done. The skin is open and it's um, open to any bacteria, so like a foreign body. So we have to be super, super careful when we do extraction on customers. You only can perform that treatment if you're level 3 beauty qualified, Cidesco, Ciptap, ITEC, um, and or equivalent of that. You're not able to do that if you're only facial qualified student. So it's really important to see the correct steps and I will be using small tiny needle to help me with the extraction. Um, yeah, so hopefully you'll enjoy and learn a lot from the video. So it's important, of course, to do a cleanse. So we need to first remove the makeup if she has some, okay? So we need to remove the makeup and then after that we need to do a proper cleanse twice. We make sure no makeup on, no bacteria, nothing, it's just clean skin underneath. Okay, so we can start now. And I have put the goggles that will protect the eyes. So they are metal goggles, we usually use them for laser, but I use them when I steam as well, because it's better for the eyes, skin around the eyes, because it's very, very delicate skin. Uh, I'm gonna start doing exfoliation for her. I'm using the Dermalogica uh, Daily Super Exfoliant. I really like it for exfoliating the skin, especially before extraction, because it loosens the cells, especially the lipid layer between the cells. So it will help me to, um, achieve better results and extract it quicker. And on the skin. So now I'm going to start with extraction. So what is important to have? Um, everything here, which is um, some kind of um, gauze. Uh, also a small needle. So it's like a disposable, fully disposable, sterile, tiny little needle, uh, which I'm going to pierce the um, kind of the white heads especially, because it's going to be difficult for me to extract them and I don't want to break the skin further. Uh, I also have to wear glasses, um, it's better for the extraction, just in case. Um, yeah, and I also um, have my special solution, that can be some kind of toner or astringent, um, something which will, is going to be antibacterial at the same time and also moist because I like to extract the, the skin with some kind of cloth, I don't want to extract it only with um, with uh, tissues, yeah, so I prefer to be something more moist so I can constantly wipe the skin. That's it, so I have to change my gloves, so I'm gonna put my gloves on now. Are you okay for that? Mm -hmm.
I know. Okay, done. Have to press, yeah. And it's fine. It's gonna be much clearer. I know, just a little bit on me. It's very difficult to do this. That's it. See that it's both coming out. See that part.
even sometimes you feel like you can't see them really but they are here you can see them under the skin Nearly finishing, yeah. Like this. So I just performed the extraction and I need to wipe the skin so just to make sure it's clean. 